The trip starts off, uh, you know, basically in the south of the country. You've got these giant big sand dunes and you've got the iconic dead flay, saucers flay. It was so surreal. I mean, the, how the light hit the sand, it went from oranges to yellows. And as you were walking towards the top, you're just seeing the sun continuing to rise over the horizon. It was incredibly magical. And from there, we hit the, the, the coast, kayaking amongst the, the seals. Which was really exhilarating with all of these seal pups coming up to our kayak. Sokopmund has uh, got a very different uh, feeling, it's unique. We went from searing heat to grey and coastal winds in this former German colony. And then of course heading slowly inland um, towards the uh, Damara land, where you have these isolated mountains, you've got a landscape that is as old as the Earth's history. <laughs> We are tracking a very interesting desert-adapted elephant. Elephants, of course, are great, magnificent animals, and to see them stumbling down rock formations that you don't even believe that they are able to climb. And of course, we'll be exploring and walking around the beautiful and uh, ancient petroglyphs of Twyfelfontein. We ended up visiting the Himba tribe. That was a very special experience. There was this joy of life in this difficult setting. There's so many similarities to people around the world. It actually brings you together. At the end, we danced with them. It was a lot of fun and pulled, pulled a lot of us out of our comfort zones for the better. And then we headed up to the Toshi National Park. And it was incredible, the animals we saw. I think a highlight for me was spotting a leopard that was by the side of the road. Being it leopard, cheetah, lions, great numbers of springbok, Oryx, you name it, they actually have sanctuary in one of the oldest national parks in Namibia. What makes Namibia special is that it's a country that hasn't really been explored. You could drive most of the day and pass four or five cars, I mean it was extraordinary. And wherever you went the scenery had that vastness and the beauty it was particularly beautiful. It's really difficult to, to put it all in a nutshell, you have to be here to experience it. It's the most beautiful country in the world. So come to Namibia!